Welcome back to the stage of history. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's everybody doing tonight, man? How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful, bro. It's your man here. I'm back again. It's your man here on a very special day. The Shade Lion King, bro. Check it out. I'm on day 666, bro. Say it again with me. I'm on day 666, and today's a special day. Not only did we not have a solar eclipse, your boy's also on a landmark day, okay? Day 666, bro. Things are flowing. Things are going great with me. I'm feeling absolutely wonderful. Had a wonderful day today at work. Met, met lots of new people, and I came here because I had a few things that I wanted to share with y'all today, man, okay? Today, we're going to be talking about why retention is the beacon of a man's full potential, okay? Retention is the beacon of a man's full potential, bro. And I want you guys to really, really understand something, bro. This is so very important, and I'm going to hit on a lot of topics to get you just to understand on how important semen retention, okay, holding a seed is to a man, okay? Not only is it something that the Most High holds severely, severely, okay, punishable by laws of nature, okay? Masturbation is the single-handedly the worst thing that a person can do, okay? More so of a man because a man is the, t the person that's out there releasing his fluids, okay? And these fluids do everything from protecting you to giving you what it is that your life purpose is supposed to be. So I want you guys to understand this. Masturbation violates, okay? It violates all sexual laws. It's the worst sexual transgression that one can do, okay? And like I said, the most high holds this severely, severely punishable in law purposes, okay? Because it destroys people. I want you to think about this. I want you to think about the worst druggie in the world, the worst person that's out there that's on the alcohol, the worst person that's out there stealing, lying, killing. None of this compares to the sin of masturbation because of the devastating effects that it has on one's life. I want you to understand that, okay? I also want you to understand that this is the most insidious vice, bro that a man can possibly do. This is insidious. That word is serious, bro. And I want you to take it fully, okay, serious of what I'm telling you, okay? It is that bad. We have a lot of people out here that believe in the most high. We have a lot of people out here that claim that they're following the most high. They're, they're out here following the laws, but they don't understand that this is single-handedly the worst thing that you can do to put you in the worst position in your life. OK, and we all we, we all know why if someone is doing this, that their life literally falls apart right in front of them. Right. Because it's that it's that disgusting, you guys. OK, and the most high turns his back on people that are doing this. All right. I want you to understand that this is severe debilitation, bro, of a man. OK, it causes disease. It causes moral decay. OK, you lack the energy, bro, to resist temptation. All right. This is the biggest thing, bro. You you literally lack the resistance to resent temptation. So this is why we see people who are out there doing these things. They're out there committing crimes. They're out there hurting and doing bad things to humanity. Because like I said, this is the biggest sin that you can possibly do because it single handedly destroys a man's life. Now, I want you to understand the positive aspects of this, okay? Because retention does a lot as far as positivity goes in a man's life, okay? This is why the people walking around with attitudes. Let me ask you guys a question. How many people do you see walking around in our today's society, bro, that have these nasty attitudes, all right? People walking around always having a bad day, okay? You see so much road wage. You see so many things that are happening in our society. You see so many people going into stores, robbing stores. You see so many people hurting one another. And this is the reasons why they're doing this because nine times out of 10, it being the number one sin that there is, most people are indulging in this and it decays you morally from the inside out, okay? You lose all value. You lose all respect. For yourself and others 
And this is something that I want you to understand. It is the number one worst thing that you can possibly do, bro. All right. Now we know why sex is pressed wherever you go, because it is single handedly going to destroy you. All right. And the funny thing is now that we're getting older and in our in our generation, you see it being pushed on younger and younger people. And what this is doing to the younger people, and they're trying to destroy these young, these youngins before puberty, okay? Before their mind even develops. Their mind is being filled with garbage. Their mind is being filled with all sorts of trash, bro. That's going to make sure that their mind is going to be disgusting when they get older. And they're creating all these issues in our society single-handedly. You guys, I, got, I want you to understand something. We have to come together. OK, we have to come together as people and we have to start saying no to this. I don't know who's going to be the first person to petition to get this shit removed completely off the Internet. But I'm raising my hand and I'm telling you right now, I will single handedly do it if someone just points out what it is that I need to do. OK, because this is ruining our society. All right. When you start attacking the youth, OK, which is going to be our future. All right. And it's starting younger and younger and younger. These kids are getting, you know, indulging in this because they're pressing it as hard as possible. The other day I was on TikTok and I was just flipping through some videos on TikTok. And guess what I saw on TikTok? I saw sexual images, except it wasn't a, a, a picture perfect sexual image. All right. It showed the people doing it. It has sound effects over it. All right. And it all it's doing is implanting that seed in the people that are scrolling. So here you go. You got on TikTok. Now TikTok's done turned into a whole bunch of women showing their backsides. All right. And another thing about that is our women, our women are being affected by it. OK, because they're actually the ones that are being used to, to unleash this agenda on all the people. All right. The women have fell so far in their nature. They have gone from goddesses to all about showing off their backsides and their bodies to all the world. OK. And you got to understand, we have to wake everybody up. This is not just a journey for the men. All right. Everybody's involved in this. We all got to understand our parts and what we're doing to our society. OK. And like I said on TikTok, you guys. They are literally putting corn on TikTok, all right? And nobody's flagging these videos. Nobody's blocking these videos. So you could be going with a, with a clear mind. You could be going just to do some research and swiping up and swiping down, and all of a sudden you're going to get barraged with a whole bunch of, you know, pornography material right here on TikTok, where TikTok is supposed to be one of the most awake platforms, right? So... It's a reason why the government has taken over that department, because we actually know who's doing this. All right. We know who's doing this, you guys. All right. We have everything bad from our food, from our water. All right. We're getting jabs. OK, who what what is the purpose of our government? OK, what is the purpose of it if they're not out here trying to protect the people? This is why when we do live streams like this, it's very imperative that you guys come in here with your thinking caps on, ready to learn and listen, okay? Because everything that I'm telling you is the absolute truth, all right? We got to start being warriors on the front line and say no against this type of thing because if we don't, bro, we're going to continue to be robbed generation after generation after generation until there's total moral decay throughout all society, and we're almost there. All right. We're almost there because this material is everywhere. Sexuality is everywhere. We got to start telling our women that they're going to have to go back to who they are. They have literally fallen from one of the highest positions. Goddesses. I don't care what you guys say. You guys can sit here and talk all the shit that you want about women. Women are goddesses. OK. And they're higher vibration, bro. They are goddesses. All right. We need them like we need water and air. OK. And they have a very important role in our in our um, salvation. They have a very important role in the lives that we lead. OK, they motivate us. They're the nurturers. All right. They're, they're the childbearing, um, you know, bodies on this planet. OK. And they have been pimped out by society just like everybody else, because at the end of the day, people are just trying to survive. 
Okay. But again, when you have a society out here that's that's controlled by money, that's controlled by sexuality, people are gonna do what they gotta do to survive. Okay. Even if that means, you know, going on here and showing off their bodies and then being all in their low vibrations. But they what they don't understand is they're just adding to all the problems in our society. Okay. So this is what I'm telling you guys, like we need to all come together. We all need to wake up and understand what our jobs and our duties are in this world. Okay. And our jobs and our duties in this world is to protect. Okay. Is to protect our youth is to protect everyone. All right. We got to stop with the division. We got to stop with the hate. We got to stop tearing each other down and we got to start spreading positive messages to everybody. Okay. We got to start telling women that, you know, they need to start, they need to uh, try to be back in their higher selves once again, because again, they've fallen so far. Okay. Whether you guys want to believe it or not, the women, they were the first ones here on this planet. Okay. All right. A, a, a male can't birth himself. A male has to come out of a womb. Okay. Women were here first. Okay. And you must understand that, bro. And they have a responsibility as themselves to come back and be leaders as well. Okay. Amongst their own. The men will take care of the men and the women will take care of the women. But the problem is, bro, we need to honestly wake up. All right. We need to wake up and snap out of this funk that we're in and we need to start spreading this message. OK, also, guys, I want to uh, read some of these comments real quick and I'm going to get back to the stream because I, I, I need to stop doing that. Um, I'm missing a lot of comments and I'm missing a lot of subscribers that are coming in here. So bear with me one minute. My man Julius is in here tonight. Julius, what's happening, man? Julius the Great. Julius says, day 40, let's get it. Congratulations on you, Julius, man. Congratulations on you. Day 40 is a big achievement, bro, okay? You need to keep going strong, bro. You need to stay focused. You need to keep doing your thing, bro, okay? You're almost to the point, man, where you're going to be able to put this thing on cruise control, and life's just going to get easier and easier and easier for you, and then your mind's going to start getting downloaded with all the good information that you need to start sharing with the rest of the world. So keep being strong, Julius. Keep doing your thing. I appreciate you for being in here tonight. My man Soap Man's in the building. Soap Man says, finally catching one. P-Shave Lion and all up in here. Appreciate you for being in here tonight, bro. It's been a minute since I've seen you, Soap. You're one of the good subscribers. I appreciate you for being in here tonight. My man Wayne in the building. Wayne says, you are liberating people from carnal bondage. Keep up the great work. I'm not a Mason or anything, but I've researched a lot on what they practice. And this is one of them. Seed retention, seed preservation. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. I'm so glad that you said that because I had no idea. I had no clue that they practice this, but I'm telling you the smartest people out here are practicing this because you're going to get the furthest in life when you're doing this practice. Okay. And that's a fact. Okay. Because cultivating your sexual energy, there is nothing more powerful than that, bro. Obviously not all do they engage in reckless behavior, but just because they can't facts, brother facts, bro. I appreciate that, man. Matthew in the building. Matthew says, we live, we live, we live in full effect. And that's what we're out here doing, bro. Okay. That's what we're out here doing, man. We're out here teaching the youth. We're out here giving back, bro. We're out here sharing the knowledge that we learn, bro. And this is the way we have to do it, man. Um, Ag, Ag, and your Ag says, bro, I have been re relapsing after five months every day since July. What's going on with you, bro? What's going on, man? Why are you relapsing that much, bro? What what has been going on that's making you do that, bro? Why are you feeling so weak that you're just going to give in to, you know, the lower, your lower temptations and be relapsing like that, bro? You're just doing nothing but uh, degrading yourself. I mean, I have no idea why you're doing that, especially if you follow somebody like me, man. You should be strong over here, bro. Please share what it is that you're doing, man, so we can try to help you. Roman says, hi, champs. What's up, Roman? Good to see you in here tonight, bro. Appreciate you for being in here, man. And my guy, Damian Cruz in the building is in here. He says, yo, what's going on? Okay, guys, listen, man. I want you guys to understand something, bro. I want you guys to understand something, man. 
when you indulge in this type of behavior, bro, okay, what's going to end up happening to you is, man, your body is going to succumb to a state of physical degeneration, okay? And when your body comes to a state of physical degeneration, what's happening is, bro, you're going to become frail. Your mind is going to become weak. I want you guys to understand, man, it is not an easy journey. It is not an easy road. OK, but you must understand because I understand that you believe in the most high. And I sat here and told you in the beginning of the stream how this is the biggest sexual transgression that a man can do. OK, there is nothing bigger than this. Why? Because it is single handedly the most devastating thing that a man can do to his life. All right. It is going to rob you from everything from vitality to vigor to possible potential to better your life. And this is the most high knew this. And this is why the most high says this is going to be also the most severely punished sin out there because you are literally destroying yourself. All right. And it is very hard to get up out of that funk, bro, and rebuild your life. All right. You have to start this journey. All right. You have to. All right. There's no more time left. I feel sorry for the people that have not taken this seriously. OK, because what happens when you keep depleting yourself, what is ultimately, in fact, what's going to happen is you're going to fall under the laws of nature. OK, you're basically going to be past your time when you are no longer holding the spark of life you basically become useless. You become useless. Why? Because we are supposed to flourish here. All right. We are supposed to reproduce. All right. We are supposed to always be having a certain level of energy. And once you start, start releasing this energy to the level that you're doing, what is going to happen with you is you are going to degenerate, debilitate, and you're not going to be able to save yourself, all right? And then ultimately, when you pass away, you're going to be under judgment of the most high, okay? And you, if, you fall, if you fall victim to all these elements like disease, okay, mental instability, okay, this is just going to make your life a hundred times worse, all right? because it is the truth. All right. It's a reason why the most high says this is the most severe punished sin because of what it does. All right. And you end up spreading it like a disease. So hear me out, you guys, this is no joke. All right. This is no joke. You must maintain a frame. You must stay strong. You must stay healthy in this lifetime. Okay. When you're releasing fluids to that nature, your brain is not going to function properly and you're going to succumb to a state of idiocy. All right. It's in the literature. All right. It's a reason why they tell you that. Okay. Because you are literally losing brain fluids. All right. And you will end up decaying, living a short life and passing away and going to meet the most high, a low, a low vibration, energy drain human being who did not live out his purpose in life. And that is the last thing that you want to do. I promise you that. Understand this, guys. A man's life force energy, bro, serves, okay? It serves, bro, as a precise gauge of his vitality and well-being. What don't we understand here, okay? Your life force energy it is a precise gauge of your well-being all right and this is why we're having so many mental problems here in our society this is why we're having so much ludicrousness going on around here is because most of the people out here are not taking this seriously this energy is super powerful bro and if you use it in the wrong way it will take away your life this is the facts OK, and this is why you get so many people that come in here and they want to laugh and they want to giggle because they're the people that are indulging in this and they don't understand that their life is on the decline. And it's just a matter of time before they succumb to illness, disease. OK, 
and the brain stops working incorrectly and their their days are numbered on this earth all right this is no joke we're moving to a new time in society you guys all right where the smart people are going to be here the longest and all the people out here that think this is a joke you're going to end up perishing with some kind of terminal illness okay your seed is that important the nutrition alone think about this one drop of semen equals 60 drops of blood do i need to repeat that one more time one drop of semen equals 60 drops of blood so let me ask you a question since we got so many smart people in here that like the joke all right just imagine yourself getting shot just imagine yourself leaking out and bleeding what do you think you're doing on a constant day-to-day -day basis you're literally bleeding out you are literally bleeding out every single day and for some reason you think you're going to live a long and healthy life and be healthy okay and be vital all right and your brain's going to work correctly how is that physically possible when you're losing that much blood let me ask you another question if you were to accidentally slit your wrist you were accidentally cut your neck what is it that they tell you to do to stop the bleeding right they tell you to put something over the wound and stop the bleeding. So let me ask you how serious it is that you're not putting something over your private parts, bro, and stopping yourself from bleeding out. Do you understand the destruction that you're doing to yourself on a day to day? This is not cap. This is all science. One drop, 60 drops of blood, bro. It's a reason why it takes so much energy and so much life force to create a child because it is a completely organ draining transformation that you're doing to create a child. Semen retention is imperative, bro. It is the number one things that should be taught, but you notice they don't teach this in school. All right. Instead, what they teach you in school is a whole bunch of nonsense. They don't teach you how to survive. They don't teach you how to live a long and happy life. They don't teach you how to deal with people, okay? It's a whole bunch of nonsense. This is why we need to be spreading this message, you guys. All of you need to create channels. I don't care if you, you're camera shy and you're timid, all right? Because I, what I've noticed is the big channels out here that are really talking about this are not getting the proper views, all right? They're not. I just heard TC talking tonight about his channel, and he was talking about how he's not getting people watching his videos. Well, it's not even that people are not watching his videos. It's what YouTube is allowing to be seen, okay? Yes, there's some channels out there that talk about retention and no fat but they're not giving you the true gems and the true knowledge and the true things that you need to hear to understand the seriousness behind this. This is so serious, you guys, all right? You guys, please, man. I don't know how long they're going to allow us to keep talking about this before they start shadow banning our channels and our views start getting less and less and less because I've already starting to see it, all right? So take my message, take heed of what I'm saying, and practice this. My boy Don in the building. What's up, Don? Appreciate you for coming through, player. Good to hear from you, brother. I hope you heard what I said earlier in this stream, man, because it's serious, bro. Okay, it is serious. Man, you guys, this is so serious, bro. Okay, this is this is the most serious thing ever. Let me ask, let me tell you something, man. This this alone, retaining your seed, the impact that you're going to receive alone just from conserving your sexual power, bro, just alone, bro, you're going to be able to reproduce your species, bro, okay? Do you not want to do that as a human being, okay? Do you not want to preserve and conserve your seed to pass on your seed to the next generations? Are you going to be one of these people just come down here, 
all right, and and not do what the Most High wants you to do, which is to be fruitful and multiply, okay. He wants you to be fruitful and multiply, okay? He doesn't want you here losing your seed. He doesn't want you out here releasing your life force energy, okay? So if you were just to reverse what you're doing here, bro, and start conserving this energy, bro, your life is going to be nothing short, but, but uh, you know, but extraordinary. Sorry, who is that? Your life is not going to be nothing short but extraordinary, okay? This is what I want you guys to understand. We're moving in a new time in society. Operation Shutdown, appreciate you for being in here tonight, bro. Okay, I really appreciate you for being in here tonight, bro. All right, this is some serious shit, you guys. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, man, that... It literally has the potential to stop you from premature aging, okay? I've told you guys before, I'm 43 years old, all right? And in my day-to-day -day life, I get more people to, that tell me that I look way younger than I am. I'm not trying to sit here and say like I look in my 20s, all right? I'm not trying to say that at all, all right? But what I've been told and what I hear on a daily is I look way younger than my age, well, what do you expect out of someone that's on 600 days of retention? What, what do you expect to see? You're going to see somebody whose seed is using it to enhance itself. All right. I'm my skin it literally glows. You guys, my skin is clear. My eyes are clear. Okay. My mind is sharp. I don't have any of these issues of like brain fog or can't remember what it is that I'm trying to talk about. My mind is absolutely sharp and I look amazing at my age and my physical structure is strong. Okay. And I'm not one of these people that go to the weight room and I'm lifting all these heavy weights. I'm not one of these people that do that. Okay. I go just to maintain. I go three times a week just to, you know, stay in shape to keep moving because I told you it's one of the ways to transmute your energy. This is a top way for a man if he's struggling on retention, okay, to transmute his energy. So if you're automatically not doing this and you call yourself doing semen retention, then it's one of the steps that you're going to have to take to make sure that your energy doesn't dwindle and you don't go back into relapse mode. You have to stay physically fit and you have to stay busy, okay? Whether that's your mind studying or you're moving your body around. Truth and Broadcast Nation says, keep your seed, weak ass scrubs. You are 20, 25, except take heed to this lifestyle. That's an absolute fact, bro. It's an absolute fact, bro. I want you to understand, bro, that all the people that have been doing this, all the scholars that we have, all these people that we've had and we're studying this information from, bro, single-handedly sit here and tell you that this is the spark that ignites vigor, heroic, and sacrifices in a man. OK, this is what's going to set you apart from any other person walking around on this planet. OK, the energy is so potent. It unlocks things in your mind, bro. It has you out here levels above regular people walking around. And this is why everybody just doesn't get the information that we put out. How are, how do you expect to understand everything that is that we're saying when you're literally depleted on the day to day and you're going to sit here and try to understand us and act like your brain is working like it's supposed to be working. The, the amount of cerebral fluid alone that is released from your brain on top of your, you know, ejaculation, bro. Okay. What 60 drops of blood is going to be completely draining on your nervous system, okay, which is all connected to the brain, all right? How are you going to sit here and say that you can even comprehend the damage that you're doing? You can't. And this is why I'm telling you why the people who only do retention understand what we're talking about. 
So all you newbies that are out there, you must take heed to what we're saying before you can align with the information. And that's just what it is. <laughs> basically, basically it is. Okay. Because all you're doing is you're sitting there and you're just blowing everything that you done built up, bro. Okay. You're out here celebrating and you don't understand, man, what you're doing physically to the body. All right. It takes so long to regenerate this energy. You guys, it is something that I would really take huge consideration of if you're going to keep doing this. Okay. Because I just sat there and told you the, the way that nature looks at this, bro. Okay. This is the biggest sexual transgression there is because of all of the damage it does to a person who indulges in it. What don't you understand about decay, bro? Decay. Do you know what the definition of the word decay is? Moral decay starts from this. And it goes downhill from that. You start aging faster. All right? You lose all of your values as a man. Like respect, selfishness, selfishness. Okay. And all the rest of these things that come with being on retention, you lose all of these things. This is no joke. I've been, you guys, I've been sitting here stream after stream after stream. And yeah, I still have people coming in here talking to me and, and thinking that what I'm doing is an absolute joke. Like my, my, like my, my world hasn't transpired in front of you on what it is, what I'm doing. How do you not see that everything that I've been doing has been working for me? And it's just a matter of time for it to work for you. Aren't you tired of being that average person? Aren't you tired of living the life that you're living where you have no answers? You can't figure out your problems. All right. You're having stress on the day to day. All you have to do is take this journey seriously. And understand that the most high is going to severely punish you, okay, if you're indulging in this. It is the number one sexual transgression. This is why they push it. And for all the people that think that we're sitting here living on a heaven and earth, no, you're actually wrong. We're living in H-E double hockey stick where you can walk outside and lose your life in a blink of an eye where you're walking around and there's disease and sickness and illness and poverty and death all around you, okay? And the thing that's going to be your beacon of light is retaining your seed because it's going to allow you to see the traps that are set up for you. Therefore, guiding you on the right path to your life. This is nothing better than this, okay? There's nothing better than this. And after 666 days, as of today, okay, I can say that with full confidence. And I know what it will do to your life if you take it serious. Dill Hart McGregor says, hey, bro. I've been on semen retention for six years. Last relapse was a year ago and a year and a half ago. For some reason, I have lack of energy for the last eight months. I think I'm going, I'm going to flatline. No, I don't think that's what it is, bro. Um, I don't think that's what it is at all. I'm going to ask you a true question, man. What are you doing as far as diet? How are you using diet to benefit you? OK, because your seed alone is just not going to keep you, you know, in high energy spirits. OK, the number one thing that I tell you guys to do is you must change your diet. You must change your intake. You must be putting electric foods inside your body. You are an electric being. And I bet you're not eating a whole fruit or veggie diet. I, I know you're not doing that. Most people are not. OK, and I told you this is the last five percent, 10 percent that's going to push you over the top with retention. You must fill your temple up with the proper fuel. And that starts with a well-balanced diet. OK, and when you're on retention, it's going to benefit you when you're eating electric foods. 
meat is not electric food. How is meat an electric food? There's no, there's, it's not, it's dead. It's dead meat. It's low vibrational food. Okay. I'm not telling you that you should stop eating it. You do what you want to do. But if you're really trying to get the best out of your retention journey, then you're going to do what it takes to get there. And what it takes to get there is eating an alkaline diet, point blank, period, facts. I bet if you just replaced everything that you were eating and just started eating an alkaline diet for a month, your energy levels are going to shoot through the roof, okay? This is why every single time you see me come on here, that's what I'm eating. That's what I'm eating. It keeps me in a, in a state of youthfulness. My mind is sharp. I always have energy. I never crash. All right. I just worked a full days of work and walk right in the house. And I'm on here teaching you guys on what it is that I've learned. Okay. And what I've learned is on retention, you have to put the right fuel inside your body. And the right fuel, bro, is an alkaline or a plant-based diet. Okay. Try it. All right. And if you haven't tried it, don't talk about you're you're on a flat line, okay? Because I've I have not felt a single flat line on neither one of my journeys. I have never felt a single flat line because I'm putting the correct fuels inside my body. Truth and broadcasting station says we got to do live calls. That's what's up, bro. I've listen, I've tried to do the live call thing again. OK, but the problem that I'm having is obviously there's not a lot of people that are on their return re, retention journey. This is facts. There's just not a lot of people that are on their retention journey. All right. I see a few guys here and there saying they're on day 50, on day 40, but not like how, you know, when I first started doing call ins, you know, it's not even close to the number of guys that are on retention. OK, and regardless if you're on retention or not, you still can call in and share your journey on your life. It doesn't just have to be about retention. Everybody is going through all kinds of things at this time and they need support. OK, so if I do decide to bring that back, what you got to do, bro, is you got to be one of these people that call in. All right. There should be no excuse that you shouldn't call in. It's a live show. We're here all consulting each other we're all here all sharing information all right it's not it shouldn't be an issue just call in okay but i'm not gonna uh, promise that i'm gonna be doing that anytime soon there's a lot of information that i still need to put out okay but soon soon i i, I will promise you i i will definitely try to bring that back brother it is bro it is that's exactly what it is bro okay it is it's diet okay that's exactly what it is, all right? Diet is the number one thing that people are missing on semen retention, okay? I see a lot of guys that are on retention. I see a lot of guys. I watch a lot of their videos. And guess what's one video that I've never seen these guys make? I've never seen these guys make a video talking about what it is that they eat while they're on retention. If I'm lying, show me one, okay? There's not one channel I've seen where people are talking about what it is they're eat because the problem is people are still eating those low vibrational foods, which is fine. I'm not making fun of you. Okay. I'm just telling you, if you're trying to take your retention journey to the highest level, there is a certain diet spiritually, physically, and mentally that you must do. And what that diet is, it's a full alkaline diet. All right. I sat here and told you guys though, I, the only things that I eat in the morning, you know, and, and occasionally, occasionally, and I really mean that occasionally I might have a piece of small, a little bit of chicken in my diet. Okay. And that's occasionally, and that's not something that I do a lot. All right. Most of the foods that I eat, I don't eat any other meat, nothing. Okay. Nothing. I don't eat any other meat. I don't eat no hamburgers. I don't eat no steaks. I don't eat no pork. I don't eat no shrimp. I don't eat no seafood. Okay. The only thing that I consume 90% of the time is fruits and vegetables. Okay. That is a fact. 
All right. So if you're one of those people out there and you're wondering what it is that you're missing, I'm telling you what it is that you're missing. Okay. First of all, first and foremost, you need to clean out your body. All right. You need to go on a detox, a parasite detox, because it doesn't matter. Even if you're eating fruits and vegetables, you're still going to have some form of uh, parasites. But if you're eating meat, you're full of worms. I'm sorry to tell you, you guys, if you're eating meat, you're full of worms. And the number one thing that you must do is a parasite detox or cleanse. OK, and once you've done that for a full month, then you start loading the alkaline foods in your diet and tell me later if you don't see an amazing change, because I already know what's going to happen because I've done it. The guy says, do yoga to get rid of flatline. That will work, too. OK, that's just a form of like a simple form of meditation. That'll work, too. But if you want instant results. OK, like I said, if you want instant results, there is nothing better than the alkaline diet. Why? Because, like I said, we are electric beings. You don't believe me? Why don't you go off the stream, go on Google and see exactly what kind of beings we are? We are our electric beings and you need to put electric foods grown from the earth inside of your body. OK, and this is going to raise your vibration, your frequency. OK, there should be no thing called a flat line. If you're on flat line, you're doing something totally wrong. OK, there is something that in your in your life that you're doing wrong. And every time that I the one time that I ever felt flat line was years ago and I knew exactly what I was doing. I was eating garbage OK? because I was going out to restaurants once a week and these restaurants don't have the food that you need to be eating. These restaurants are serving you nothing but meats and 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 processed foods so you got to change your lifestyle and i promise you you will never experience any kind of flat lines if you don't work out and retain your seeds your chakra your chakra will be imbalanced it may cause even death please work out that's a fact bro that's a fact that is an absolute fact of god okay that's the number one thing that i preach bro OK, you have to eat well first. You have to retain your seed and you have to transmute your energy. OK, because if you don't, OK, you are going to be on a rapid decline. OK, you're going to start thinking things aren't working for you when they really are. So just focus on those three things and you will see a major change in your life. I promise you that. Julius the Great says possible vitamin or uh, mineral deficiency too, and that's a that's a high possibility, bro. Okay, let me let me let me uh, expound on that. Okay, so let's think about this, bro. All right, you just got off of being deficient from releasing your seed. Okay, I just told you that that one drop of semen is sixty drops of blood. Okay, your blood is also the um, is, is also the nutrition from your body. Okay. So if you're now jumping on retention, let's say you're one of these people that had been doing retention for five to six months. All right. And you, all of a sudden you say you're feeling a certain way. Well, think about all those months, all those years that you were in depletion. Okay. And you now need to rebuild up your stores. This is exactly what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Okay. You have deficiencies somewhere okay and most of the stuff that we're eating is 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 mineral deficient your your foods that you're eating today i told you um your your conventional foods all right your any foods in the grocery store that you're buying okay those are all foods that are void of minerals okay it's a fact this is why you need to seek out a local farmer's market OK, somebody that's growing local foods and try your luck with that. And I'm telling you, there's a major difference because that's all I consume as far as produce go. I told you guys I go to a local fruit stand three times a week and I'm not joking. I get watermelons. I get uh, cantaloupes. I get naturally grown carrots. I get naturally grown um, cabbage. I get naturally grown beets. I get naturally grown potatoes. OK, I only buy this stuff 
from local farmers. Okay. And it's a major difference in taste quality. And I know it's a major difference in my energy levels. Let me show you guys something real quick. I'm going to show you an example of what it is that I eat. Hold on one second. You guys see this? Look, I get every single day, every single time I go to the fruit stand, I make sure that I get myself at least four watermelons, okay? I got my watermelons. I got my purple sea moss, 81 minerals. 81 minerals out of the 103 minerals that the body needs right here. 81. And I put this in my blender and I blend it with my smoothie. So what do I put in my smoothie? Hold on one second. So every morning when I get up, every single morning when I get up, Guess what I have? Every single morning never fails. I make myself a gigantic smoothie. I put watermelons. I put almond milk. I put my, um, I put my, uh, depends on what, what I have. I put peaches. I put pears. I put, um, uh, two bananas. I put apples, yellow apples. And I also put, uh, my uh sea moss in there so that's what i have every single morning so look what i'm getting first thing in the morning i'm getting a light meal okay i'm getting something that is going to fill me up nutritionally i'm meeting all of my body's needs first thing in the morning okay i'm not eating cooked food okay cooked food is void of minerals and nutrients see we think that we're eating eggs and we think that, you know, we're eating um, meat, all of these things that we're eating. We think that we're getting the nutritional, nutritional value from it's not really the truth because when you cook anything, you lose in half of the nutritional value right off top. Okay. And not only that, you're getting secondary nutrition, meaning you're getting nutrition that the body is going to have to really break it down and try really hard to pull the, the nutrition and the minerals out of the food. When you're eating something like fruits and vegetables, your body works with this. Your body recognizes this as natural foods. Therefore, it goes through your immune system and it functions with you properly much quicker than the digesting meat. Digesting meat takes up to two to three days sometimes, okay, to get rid of it out of your body, okay? You don't want that kind of heavy food sitting in your body. You want something light. You want something that is nutrient dense, okay? And this is why I eat that. Another thing that I eat in the mornings is I eat beets. I eat raw beets. Okay, raw beets. All right. Remember, I told you guys that the color of the fruit dictates the potency of its nutrition. Okay, so purple would be the highest, so on and so forth. Okay, so you want to look for things that have high vibrational nutritional value. Okay, and I, I don't happen to have the color chart here, but I'm telling you purple is the highest so on and so forth down the line. This is what you want to be consuming in the morning if you want to be your best uh, your best version. If you decide that you want later in life, okay, that you need to pack on a whole bunch of weight, which you don't need, okay, then go to your proteins. But don't expect a high nutritional value, something that's going to feed your brain and feed the rest of your body, okay, by eating these foods. Fruits and vegetables is the only way you're going to get this inside of your body. And that's a fact. No, I don't eat no raw dairy. I've, I've said that for a long time. You must have been watching any of my streams because I've said that for a long time. Last time I talked about eating dairy was like over a year ago. 
Okay. I haven't talked about eating raw milk or drinking raw milk or eating any kind of dairy for that long. Okay. I've been off of that for a while. I've been doing plant-based diet for almost eight, nine months now. Okay. And like I said, from time to time, you know, depending on where I am, if I can't find some food somewhere, the only thing that I will eat on is, is a piece of chicken. Okay. That's it. That's if I can't find any kind of food around, or if I can't, you know, get what it is that I need to eat, that's what I eat is, is a, a little bit of chicken. Okay. And my body is ripped. I don't feel like taking off my shirt and showing you guys my body, but I'm telling you, I'm a big dude. And all I do is eat fruits and vegetables. Okay. That's it. I don't even take any supplements. All right. So I know what it is that my body needs to maintain, all right? And your body is made up of 101 minerals, and that's what you should be replacing. Of course, you need some protein here and there, and you can get protein from just about anywhere. You don't need a whole lot of protein, okay? You just need to make sure that your body is meeting its daily requirements and your minerals and nutrients, okay, and macronutrients. That's what all you need to do. The alkaline diet sounds like a lot of Rasta. It'll that it'll diet. What's that, bro? I think it's time for me to fully commit. What's the it'll diet? I've never, never heard of that. Did you misspell that? What's the it'll diet? It is what you need, bro. Okay. I'm telling you right now, it is what you need, man. Because like I said, it, it took me to the next level. It took me to the next level in my journey, bro. All right. I feel good every day. I never crash. I have a, a stream amount of energy. Okay. I go for, sometimes I go for jogs, two, three mile jogs. I'll go for like a five mile walk. I'll do something every single day, bro. And it lets me know that my energy level is right. Because if I don't ever have that energy, then I just won't do it. Okay. But every single day, man, uh, this is on my mama. Every single day, this is what I'm putting inside of my body. All right. And my machine runs so well. I never have any hiccups. I never have any malfunctions, all right? Diet is everything, you guys. And also make sure that you're drinking a lot of water. I've preached to you guys about drinking distilled water and why distilled water is the most important water to drink because it cleanses your body. We thinking that we need to be drinking this water from some kind of nutritional value. No, the water is there to hydrate you just a little bit and cleanse out your body. Distilled water is the best to cleanse out your body, okay? You get hydration from fruit. You get hydration from the watermelons, okay? Your watermelons have that H3O, okay? It's way better than drinking H2O. It has that H3O. Look it up. It has a totally different hydration that the body recognizes better than your faucet water or some water that you made distill, okay? That is just to flush out the toxins, but your fruits and veggies, okay, that hold the water, bro, is what's going to hydrate your body. Max Sanders says, do you practice any deep breathing or any meditation or any practice to help take that sexual energy and transmute it into your higher chakras? What I do, man, is I stretch, okay? I stretch, bro. I get in the bed early, bro. Okay. There's a certain time where I turn off all devices and it's just me listening to myself. Okay. That's what I do. All right. I'm not, I don't need to sit here and do the breathing exercises. You know, I don't need to sit here and do the meditations. You know, sleep is a form of meditation. If you want to look at that. Okay. I meditate when I get in bathtubs. Okay, I get in the bath and I soak and I'm just I'm I'm just to myself and I'm in mind meditation. Okay. But I don't do nothing out of the ordinary, man. Okay. I just live a very simple life. All of that stuff that people are saying that they're doing, they're just trying to do a little stuff extra. Okay. And that's fine, man. Okay. It doesn't take all that. All right. All it takes is you to keep your mind focused. All right. And keep your mind away from distractions. OK. I just sat here and told you guys on how you get on TikTok. And now there's pornography now on TikTok. All right. You have to just keep your mind clear. You got to keep your mind away from distractions, bro. You got to get your butt in the bed early, bro. You got to eat clean foods that are not going to pollute your temple, bro. All right. That's all you have to do, man, and exercise moderately. That is it. There's nothing extra that you have to do, 
Okay. Now, if you're somebody that has, you know, some ridiculous, some ridiculous addition uh, addictions in the past, then you might have to do a little extra. Everyone's different. I'm just telling you what I do and what works for me. Okay. And what works for me is the very simple things. Okay. Keep my mind busy, work out, put the best foods in my temple. Okay. Drink lots of distilled water to flush out the toxins. Okay. And make sure that I'm doing my smoothies every single morning. That's it. And my life is great. Elok Mock says, my mind is stronger than ever since I quit. The discipline has spread to other areas of my life. And that's what it does, brother. That's what it does. That's the whole point of no addictions. See, when I tell people they don't believe me, all the people that are out there that are fappers, they don't believe me because they're not even doing this. If you were doing this exactly what my man just said, bro, this spreads to other areas of your life. All right. Once you decide to show the discipline here, all the other other addictions become easy, effortlessly, <laughs> effortlessly, bro. It's easy to quit all of this stuff. All right. You don't even have to try. All right. You can say no to anything. Once you're able to have the power to say no to sexual temptation, bro, you're going to be able to turn down anything. I don't care if you have addiction to foods. I don't care if you have addiction to watching TV. I don't have your addiction to spending money. It doesn't matter what it is. Once you control the hardest problem, which is your sexual energy, bro, it transmutes to other areas of your life. And if you're doing it right, there should be no excuses, bro, that you have any addictions because you quit all addictions because the only thing that you're trying to do at that point is walk in a perfect line. I told you, once you get to this level of your life, bro, you want to become perfect. It's just the way it is. I'm not trying to say everybody's going to be perfect. I'm telling you what your, your mind starts to see, all right? You want to fix everything in your life at this point. And so you start looking very closely at all the things that are bad for you and you put them down one by one. This is why I told you retention, bro. All right. Breaks all addictions and it's no joke. If I don't drink enough water, I can feel it. Facts, bro. And I, that's the same thing with me too. But like I said, I get so much water from the fruits and the vegetables that I eat. Most of the time, I don't even need to drink water until I come home and have a big meal. Okay. And my smoothies every single day is enough hydration for me. Okay. Uh, it's no cap. Okay. It's no cap. All right. If you're eating the correct things, bro, you don't need to drink a whole lot of water. Okay. Because to be quite honest with you, most of you guys are not even drinking the correct water anyway. So you're not even getting hydrated anyway. Most of you guys are drinking, you know, these ridiculously, you know, expensive alkaline Fiji waters and stuff like that. And you don't even understand that that's not even hydrating. you. Okay. Distilled water is the only water you need to be drinking because you should be in a constant state of flushing out toxins. It's funny to me that most people out there think that they're not polluted. You're polluted from head to toe. I'm still polluted from head to toe, and I eat cleaner than 99% of you, okay? I'm still polluted from head to toe. You need to be drinking water, bro, that flushes out the toxins from your body. Distilled water is the only water that's going to do this, okay? This is why you need to get your hydration from fruits and vegetables, Make a smoothie. If you don't like eating it raw, make a smoothie. And this is what I do. It's the cheat code. You can put as many fruits and vegetables as you want in that blender, and you can make some amazing tasting smoothies, bro. And that is how you stay hydrated, and that's how you stay on top of your mineral game. Truth, bro. I'm telling you the truth. It's the facts, bro. I'm not I'm not going to sit up here and cap. I'm trying to give you the secrets, man. But so many people don't want to give up their lifestyle. So if you're one of these people that don't want to give up your lifestyle, you can't say nothing, man. You can't sit up here and say nothing because you've never done it. Try replacing your meals in the morning with a smoothie. 
Try fasting all the way to dinner time and see if your life doesn't change in a remarkable fashion in a matter of weeks. Just by eliminating break fast, listen to that word, break fast. Let's break down the word really, really quickly. Breakfast. What is breakfast? Spell breakfast and break it in, and break it in half. It's called break fast. That means you're breaking your fast. So if they're telling you you're breaking your fast, that means you're not supposed to be eating until you break your fast. You're not supposed to be eating in the morning. Okay. And if you do, you're supposed to eat something light enough that is nutrient dense, that is going to meet your nutrient and mineral requirements. Not no heavy, toxic food that's going to cause you gas and bloating, all right, and give you constipation, all right? Fruits and vegetables, bro, they, they digest in the body smoothly, okay? There's tons of natural fiber inside of these foods. And if you eat these foods correctly, what's going to happen is, bro, your digestive system is going to be on point. OK, many, many people out here are actually constipated, bro, because they're eating this, you know, this garbage. This is just what it is, man. I'm not trying to tell you what not to do. But if you're one of these people out there and you have questions and you're wondering about what is the most ultimate diet for you, it's simple, bro. It's fruits and veggies, fasting. OK, one meal a day. That's what, that's how I roll, bro. That's what, how I've been eating, man. I've been eating like that for the last nine months. Okay. I wake up in the morning and if I got to work, it's a fruit, it's a fruit and veggie smoothie. Okay. I fast till I get home and then I eat myself a so, somewhat of a heavy meal, but it's only one meal a day and that's all my body needs. And guess what? I'm still strong as can be. All right. I'm going to start posting some more videos of me in the gym and you're going to be amazed at someone who only eats one meal a day okay who only weighs 185 pounds the kind of strength that i got okay it's because my body is running at its optimal level i'm not bogged down by all this heavy sludge that you eat on a day-to-day -day basis okay many of us are eating fast food for breakfast you're breaking your fast eating processed foods. The only thing you should be breaking your fast on, bro, all right, is a high mineral, you know, dense smoothie. That's it. Or high mineral dense, you know, fruits and vegetables, period. Nick says that it'll die is basically a strict vegan diet with no preservatives or even salt-based seasonings. Facts. And that's how I eat. I didn't even know that's what I was doing, but that's how I eat. Okay. That's how I eat. Like I said, occasionally I will eat, you know, a piece of chicken. Okay. But I, I swear on the most high, I don't eat any other meats. Okay. I don't. All right. And this is what I, how I've been living for the last nine months. All right. And like I said, occasionally if I get put in a spot where, you know, cause you can't go anywhere when you're out there, you know, in the, in the real world, you can't go anywhere and and find a decent you know some food to eat wherever you go it's just gonna be there. that's all they serve you is low vibrational meat foods so sometimes i might have to do that but most of the time i don't most of the time i'm i'm bringing the foods with me and i'm and i have what i need to eat okay so i would suggest you guys we're rolling all in into the winter time now i would suggest you start stocking up on your fruits and veggies especially the ones that are out of season all right what you can do is you can get you some watermelons you can cut them up in chunks put them in bags and then put them in your freezer. Okay. And that'll help you make it through the winter. So when the next season comes around, all right, you'll be rolling right into the next season and be able to get you some fresh stuff. Okay. But as of right now, what's happening is the winter time's coming. That's one of the worst times to be eating because you're going to be eating nothing but garbage in the winter times because most of the time there's nothing really super healthy that you're going to be able to find. Okay. And this is just the facts. The most important trait of a man is self-control. Absolutely, bro. The most important trait of a man is self-control because that's what makes him a man, bro. That's what makes him a man, all right? We all know this. This is what's going to make you a man is self-control. You're able to say no. This is what makes you strong. This is what makes you a leader. This is what makes you stand out. This is what makes you the individual that it is that you're supposed to be. 
Self-control is beautiful. Not only that, women, okay, and this ain't all about women, but they find that uh, appealing and attractive about a man, okay? You're different, man, all right? You're, you're walking a whole different path, and then that means you have discipline, all right? That means you're smart, and it means you're intelligent, bro, all right? Because you're using your head. You're not easily uh, thrown off your path, man. Keep being disciplined. Keep showing self-control, bro, okay? Especially on your retention journey. It's going to take you a long way. If you can't control your own mind, you are just a feather in the wind of life. Exactly. Man, that's beautifully said, bro. That is beautifully said. And that's what's going to happen, bro. You're just going to get pushed wherever the wind pushes you. You're going to be a follower, bro. All right? You're just, you're never going to have no direction. You're just going to always be lost. You're going to always be thrown off your path. You got to understand, man, you have to have a strong mind in this game. OK, and you have to understand that this energy that we're dealing with as a man, bro, the most high is not playing with us. He's not playing with us. That's why every single person that is indulging in the stuff that I've just been talking about, they sway off the path and they lose themselves. OK, until they end up in destruction. All right. They decay. They age early. They get these dark circles under their eyes, bro. They become unrecognizable from people that they used to know. They go into hiding. They can't make eye contact with you, all right? These are the traits. The literature's there. You can't say none of this ain't real because the literature's there. I hear nothing nobody says because it's the truth. I see it with my own two eyes on the day-to-day, -day, all right? You can sense somebody out that's low on energy. You can sense somebody out that is depleted of life force energy. All of these things that I just mentioned, this is what they display to you. All right. It is for real out here. All right. You keep indulging to this, bro. And what's eventually going to happen to you is you're going to experience moral decay. OK. And like I told you, by the laws of nature, by the laws of nature, bro, what happens to you is you become useful or unuseful now. OK. You are no longer here um, giving giving your life for energy to society, to the world, and procreating and being fruitful and multiplying. You are now a person who is in the hate energy. You're in a person who's in the anger energy. You're in a person who's in the, in the selfish, uh, um, selfish energy. You're not in these high vibrational frequencies anymore, okay? And therefore, your, your goods are up. You're done, okay? And you life goes on a drastic decline from there. OK, this is what it does to your body. This is a serious, serious topic. And it's imperative that you listen to what I'm telling you. And it, most of us have been indulging in it already. And therefore, you're going to be deficient. So you need to put the best fuel inside of your body to help repair your body so your body can start fixing these issues. OK. This is how you do it. It's simple out here, man. You can be, you can look just like anybody else who's retaining his seed and eating a healthy diet. Okay. But it just requires you to stop what you're doing, bro. Look at what you're doing and understand that you have a problem. Okay. And start fixing yourself the correct way. That's all you have to do, guys. It isn't hard. Control your mind or it will control you. Facts, brother. So if you're going to sit here and tell me that that's not the truth, if the Most High did not sit here and tell you that if you decide to choose this path, then this is in fact what's going to happen to your life. This is a super important topic, bro. And we're not going to be able to stop talking about this. There's so much information that I haven't even got to in this stream. So I'm just going to save it for the next stream. All right. But I just wanted to basically come in here and tell you guys, bro, that this is the beacon, bro. The light of a man's full potential. Once you say no to this harmful, disgusting, degenerate state of being, bro, your life completely transforms. And now you are allowed to see the beauty of what life is really meant to be, bro. 
Okay. And what that's meant to be is a man is supposed to show these traits, bro. A man is supposed to be considerate. A man is supposed to show a uh, value of nobility. He's supposed to be selflessness. Okay. He's supposed to display all of these traits, bro. This is what a real man is supposed to be. But instead, what we have is we have a society full of hating, low degenerate men, bro. Men that are going around causing wars, men that are going around harming each other, men that are going around killing people, okay? Men that are going around just causing self-destruction because of one and one key fact only, which I told you is the biggest sexual transgression that there is. Your seed does that much. It causes that much destruction when it is used in the improper way. And this is why you know why society now pushes everything that they push. Because once they got everybody doing this, look at our society around it. It's chaotic. It's chaotic. What is the number one thing people do every single day? Well, just go look at the pornography sites. We're talking about 300 million plus visitors a day. How many people that we have in this world are a few billion, okay? A day, bro. 350 million plus a day are indulging in this practice. And this is why you have the society that you have because it creates chaos, moral decay, okay? This is what it does. So this is why we are going to stand up Continue to be the leaders that we're supposed to be and saying no and teaching the youth the troubles, okay, the troubles that they're going to experience if they choose to take this low vibrational lifestyle. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I appreciate everybody coming in and listen. Okay. I appreciate everybody being here. All right. If you missed the stream, go back earlier rewind the video and hear what i said okay this is a serious serious problem you guys and this is the biggest sin that one person can do there is nothing bigger than this okay i just told you there's nothing bigger than this. you you put all the druggies the alcoholics all the all the pedophiles you put all of those people together and it still does not equal okay the, 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 the destruction that self-pleasing does to one's purpose. It does not even come close. Okay. Not even close. This is the lowest of the lowest and you become the worst of the worst of your version by continuing to indulge in this. So take heed. I appreciate you guys for coming in here tonight. Like I said, and I will try to come back with you on the next one. All right, you guys have a good rest of the night, and I will talk to you on the next one, you guys. Peace.